Hey everybody and welcome to this video. I'm Minx Laura 123. Now in today's video we're going to be doing something different. We're going to be looking through this old 80s magazine. How cool is this? So this is Looking magazine and it's actually from, this issue is from 1989, August, my birthday month, 1989. So if you are kind of my age group, you know, you can uh, relive some memories with me. Um, you know, we can kind of go back in time together. Um, but also, I suppose if you're younger than me and have no idea who any of these people are that I'm going to talk about or whatever, um, you can learn stuff learn stuff about the 80s and what I loved in the 80s you know um, so Nathan my lovely fiance got me this magazine as a birthday gift he got me lots of 80s themed presents because I was having an 80s themed party um I always go on and on about how much I love the 80s it is by far in my opinion the best era best music films tv fashion just like everything it was just I don't know I love the 80s but um yeah so when this magazine issue come out I was 10 so this is like really old school looking back in the past for me and when he got it for me honestly I was so touched by this because it was just such a personal thing because I'd had this discussion with him about when I was younger I used to love reading magazines I don't really read that many magazines now to be fair I read books but I don't really read that much you know magazine stuff um to be fair the reason is they're just full of adverts and they're just I don't know, like, I just don't get anything from them, to be honest. But, like, old school magazines, I would love. Like, as a kid, teenager, I just loved them all. I would read uh, this one, obviously, which is looking. Um, I used to read Just 17. I used to read uh, Smash Hits, Big, um, Ms. Magazine. I mean, there were just so many. Top of the Pops magazine. Um, and I just, I, I don't know, I just loved them. I was obsessed, actually, with reading magazines when I was younger. So me and Nathan had had this discussion, and then he, he found, as I say, the copy from August, my birth month, um, 1989. So, and not only that, uh, these two here, which I'll talk about in a bit, are in it. They're featured heavily, the London boys, who I was absolutely obsessed with. So, yeah, that would be a fun video, something different, and we can kind of go back into time. Right, so let's begin um okay so as i say it is from august 1989 and at the price of this magazine was 32p look where is it 32 pence that is ridiculous i don't even think you get a page of a magazine uh, for that these days <laughs> like sometimes when i look at magazines like if i'm just wandering in smiths or what have you know i'll just look at the you know front pages of magazines they're so expensive like they're like four or five pound i've seen you know some magazines for like a tenner i'm like really but yeah back in the day they were a lot lot cheaper also i noticed how they feel differently these are more i don't know like kind of flimsy and stuff but i like the feel of these like old school mags uh compared to the newer ones because i find the new ones are more glossy they're thick i don't know i just yeah. I just like the feel of these kind of flimsy magazines. And also, because this is quite old, God, I hate saying that because it makes me old. <laughs> Age is nothing but a number. Um, it's like, yeah, some of it's printed like black and white, as you'll see as we go along, and some of it is in colour print. So it's kind of weird to think, oh, my God, you know, I was out in a day where, you know, some magazines were still printing black and white, etc. But anyway, so Looking was, as I say, one of my favourite and one of my first ever magazines that I started reading. So Looking on the cover, uh, it's got Kylie Minogue, who I absolutely adored. I still, I do still like her, actually. Her new song is very good. Um, and to be fair, she doesn't really age. She looks pretty much exactly the same as she did back in the day. We've got Garfield the Cat, who I think, was he the cat that was obsessed with lasagna? Or is that just in my mind? I don't know. Um, I can't remember the name of that film. Is it The Land Before Time or something? I don't know. I never saw it, but I, rec I recognise it. And, of course, my London boys. <laughs> I love the London boys. Anyway, so we're going to look through it and just have a little look at, you know, the pages and stuff. So, first of all, we've got an advert. Um, <laughs> these were great. So, uh, free with your Robinson's drink. Which, by the way, I still do drink these uh, Robinson. I love the uh, orange and uh, orange barley. And the lemon one's quite, quite nice. Enough. But yeah, these were like really lovely fruit juices. They still do them. There's probably loads and loads more flavours now as well. But you used to get the little application form and you'd send it in. And you can get like little free, you know, gifts and stuff um, when you collect whatever. And this was the scrape and frame sets. Which I don't actually remember getting them, but... 
I did used to do things like this where I would collect little tokens and send them off and stuff like that. I remember I used to get as well, I loved, I don't think they do it as much nowadays, but in cereals, like Cocoa Pops or whatever, you'd get like little gifts in the, like little toys and stuff in the cereal and you'd pour it out and it'd just be in the bowl. So exciting. But yeah, I did used to do stuff like this. Um, so it was really cool to see that. Um... Hold on, just, oh, books, they've got a little bit about books. I saw another page here. Hold on, where is it? Oh, we'll come to that in a minute. But there is another section where they talk about um, different books and stuff. So it says here, books, videos. It says, a license to kill. Oh, God, how old was that? A license to kill may be doing big business at the box office, but if you're a Bond fan, you'll be pleased to hear that Warner Home Video have released all 16 Bond films on uh, video price nine ninety nine each. Um, available for rental from your local video shop. Oh, I used to love going to the like little video shop. Um, it was either Blockbusters or there was a little one we used to go. I think it was Prestige. But anyway, love going to the video shops and just picking out the videos and you know taking them home, watching them. Uh, make sure you rewind. You have to rewind the video before you give them back. I don't think I did sometimes. Shh, don't tell anyone. Um, as for Bond though, I wasn't a James Bond fan. I have to be honest, wasn't wasn't my thing. Um, lots of comic strips as well, which I used to love in the magazines. And then each week, um, obviously, you would continue the story. Uh, so we've got Bugs Bunny and Friends. Um, I don't remember him. I remember Bugs Bunny, obviously, but I don't remember Scally. Is it Scally? Yes, yeah, Scally the dog. Let me know if you remember Scally, because I honestly don't remember Scally at all. We've got Trapdoor, which I, oh my God, I love. Take a look at that trap door, cause there's something down there. Do -do -do -do. Anyway, love trap door. Uh, and Garfield, obviously, at the bottom there. But yeah, I used to love like reading little comic strips and then, you know, the next week kind of finding out what happens. And I don't know, I, to be fair, I still love that kind of thing because I love graphic novels. So I suppose it's similar. I do like comics as an adult, but they're a lot more expensive than, you know, this. <laughs> Right, so oh, here's the book section that I was telling you about, all the different books that you can get. Call for Cats, Once Read, Never Forgotten, Lion Paperbacks. I can honestly say I have not, I've not read any of these books. Um, Sweet and Sour Summer, Kate and the Mystery Ponies. Oh, they were Mystery Ponies. Uh, Operation Titan. I never read any of these books, but the books that I read as a kid was Sweet Valley High, um, I used to love Nancy Drew, um, like point horror books, that kind of thing, but, and Sweet Dreams or the Romance, but I don't recognise any of them. Um, yeah, just about different, uh, kids TV shows on there. I could make a whole video of the shows that I used to watch as a kid, so let me know if you'd be interested in that, because honestly, I was obsessed, obsessed with watching TV when I was a kid. I used to just have all my shows, like, I loved so many shows. If you want a video of, like, 80s shows that I used to love let me know in the comments but yeah I mean some of these that they're mentioning I honestly don't remember I remember old what's his name uh David Bellamy because he used to do all the animals and stuff but I, I don't remember the other shows but yeah I used to love watching tv um oh next week they got Jason Donovan Sonia BMX bikes <laughs> little little secret here it's not gonna be a secret now but I don't know how to ride a bike which is really embarrassing at 43 years up no 44 years old, ah, not 43 anymore, um, but no, I don't know how to ride a bike, but I remember all my friends at school, especially the boys, which I know is sexist, but it's just how it was, always were going on and on and on about their BMX, oh, I've got a new BMX, but yeah, never had one, couldn't ride a bike, anyway, uh, Timmy Mallet, I love Timmy Mallet from Wackaday, Wackaday, say blah, blah, anyway, um, Kylie's story continues, Count Duckula, so yeah, I loved always um, finding out what's going to be next week's uh, issue. It'd make me excited, you see. We've got Count Duckula here doing his thing. Got to love a bit of Count Duckula. Honestly, I, these, obviously these comic strips are based on, like, well, some of them I see them, are based on old, like, 80s kids TV cartoons and stuff. But I used to love Trapdoor, loved Count Duckula. Um, just looking at the fashion here. Where is it? <laughs> Oh my, I remember my fashion thing that I always was in as a kid, thanks mum, was um, shell suits. I always had lots of different coloured shell suits, especially like, I loved my pink or my purple one actually. Um, lots of photos of me in, in shell suits. Um, and for some reason my mum used to dress me in like these really random colour design tights, like bright coloured tights. 
<laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, we've got the... I think it's too late. I don't think I can enter this giveaway now. Could have won some paper mate pens and some jackets. Oh, a bit too late. Um, I used to love the quiz and puzzle pages in magazines, you know, got your thinking. And I love those when they'd mix up the letters and you had to kind of arrange them. Oh, we've got a joke, actually. We've got a joke. An 80s joke. Who created fire? Oh, some bright spark. It's actually quite good. Uh, why do cows wear bells? Because their horns don't work. Hmm. I do like the fire one. That's quite cool. Another one. Comic strip. Dog Tanyon. Was Dog Tanyon the one that went one for all and all for one? Musker, Hounser, or is that the one? I don't know. I think it is. But yeah, I, I love Dog Tanyon. Uh, oh, this made me laugh, actually, seeing the old TV guides. So you don't really do that now. If you want to know what's on TV, you just get your remote and flick through. But yeah, back in day, we did have the listing. I mean, most of these channels probably don't even exist now. Um, we used to watch LWT. That was our kind of area. Because I'm in Essex, we had uh, LWT Thames. So, um, yeah, it's really weird. All the different days and some of the stuff that's on. Uh, never trust a smiling cat, says Garfield. Apparently Garfield, uh, these are some of his famous sayings. Let me know, by the way, in the comments if you like Garfield. Uh, I hate Mondays. I kill for chocolate. <laughs> never trust a smiling cat. Um, I never met a lasagna I didn't like. Today the refrigerator, tomorrow the world. There is more, but... Um, the laziest, greediest cat you could ever come across is also just about the most popular. I don't know. I do like Garfield. And I've actually got a Garfield sweater that I wear in the winter. However, old big poster. You always got a, a poster of someone. Um, I saw it Heathcliff. Heathcliff the cat. And there was another cat I used to like. Is it Top Cat, obviously? Da -da -da -da, top Cat. Um, but he was still cool. He was still cool. Down on the farm. Orson's farm. I don't remember anything about that. I think I recognise the name of it as better. But look, different TV shows when they're on. Um, Coronation Street, Home and Away. Home and Away. Uh, oh, there's, oh, these, no, hold on. These are <laughs> viewers' letters. Viewers' letters about TV shows. Okay, because I was like, what? So these are viewers' views and opinions. So um, where is it? Lydia Alder, age nine, from Stourbridge, says, Home and Away is stupid. Carly always looks miserable. And Sally is such a baby. Also, Jason Donovan is much less better looking than Alex Paps. <laughs> oh, kids moaning about TV. Um, what else have we got here? Oh, about Neighbours. The scene where Daphne was dying in Neighbours was very touching. In fact, it made my mum cry from Dow in Edinburgh. <laughs> I'll be honest, I did always used to write into magazines, send them little pictures or just... Not complaining about TV shows, but I did write letters into magazines and did get a couple printed. <laughs> I was printed in um, Top of the Pops magazine, Just Seventeen, Super Grand. <laughs> oh my god, I have to be honest, I hated Super Grand. I'm sorry, any Super Grand fans out there, I, I just, she scared me. She scared me senseless. Oh, it was, there we go, Land Before Time. Yeah, I didn't watch it, but it was quite a big thing. I don't know why I never watched it. It looks quite cute. Mac and Me. Oh, for different film. I remember Mac and Me. Do you remember Mac and Me? He was like, I think he was like a little alien or something, maybe. Um, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade. Nathan is a huge fan of Indiana Jones. I've never seen one Indiana Jones film, got to be honest. Um, ah, some films that I did love, though. Karate Kid films. Me and my granddad, Harry, bless him, he used to take me to all the Karate Kid films at the cinema. Um, we'd have our ice cream, we'd have our drink, and we'd sit and watch Karate Kid. So, good memories for me. Uh, oh, the, the Kylie Minogue comic strip there. Her story of her life. Honestly, I absolutely love Kylie. Like, Kylie and Jason were so great together. But Kylie was always my favourite. And to be fair, as I say, she just doesn't look that much different now. She still looks amazing. So, next week, Kylie's first steps towards fame. So obviously, you don't know Kylie Minogue, come on, come on. She was in so many like different shows and then she went in, she got a main break on a soap opera called uh, Neighbours. Then she just had like a pop career. Um, what's this here? Athletics, Sally Gunnell. You see, I was never into like reading about the sport. Whenever it was the sport bit, I was like, meh. <laughs> um, got an advert here, what's this? This is what to wear, girls. Oh, we've got some fashion, we've got some fashion here. I don't know why she is upside down though, which is bizarre, but um, maybe because she's supposed to be from Australia. So she, oh, I say get it, because she's from Down Under, okay. 
<laughs> but lots of denim. I did wear a lot of denim as well. I lived in my, um, well, even my shell suits or my dungarees. That was my thing. Or my leggings, which I still pretty much live in leggings now. So I don't really change that much. Um, more sports stuff about Sally Gunnell. Um, I, I just, as I say, I wasn't into sports. Uh, oh, yes. Galaxy High School comic strip. I loved, loved, loved Galaxy High. Honestly, I really want to do this video about old shows that I used to watch as a kid. Um, because they were great. But yeah, I loved Galaxy High. And then, um, these were good. These were good. So these are the little, like, um, happy birthday messages. The Looking Club. Uh, I was in the Looking Club, actually. So, yeah, you'd send your, your birthday off and that, and it gets printed. So, um, yeah, happy birthday to, oh, the celebrities on that day. But then also the normal people. <laughs> so Emma Pearson, uh, who was age nine, when this magazine was out, and Ian Thomas, age nine, uh, Tracy Wicks, Kevin Smith, turned 14 from Newcastle. <laughs> um, this is funny, there's a, a pet spit. Here I am in bed with my kitten, his name is Ginger, and he's just had his first, first birthday. Rebecca Ray, AJ from Roberts Bridge, laying there with her cat there. <laughs> oh my. Um, I used to love the little club because you just let little different bits and pieces. Uh, here I am, me and my sister Claire, when we were dressed up for a non-uniform day at school. Why would you, as a non-uniform day, like they decided to dress up very odd as like clowns or something. When, when we had a, a non-uniform day at school, I was like, right, shell suit, dungarees, like I'm done. You know, I was happy with that. I don't think I'd have quite gone as a clown. I don't, I don't get that. Anyway, uh, <laughs> but honestly, school, non-school uniform days were so exciting because every day they'd have to put on this boring horrible school uniform uh, i'll be honest though my my junior school uh uniform was quite cute i had like a little pinafore dress green and white check um and a little green cardigan or gray skirt and a gray jumper uh, sorry gray skirt and green jumper um so that was fine but it was high school that i hated because you have to wear i had like a navy blazer my shirt um white shirt which normally went a bit gray because the wash um true story my, my tie was blue and yellow like stripes uh, and I had my cardigan, my grey cardigan, if it was cold, obviously, not in the summer. But, you know, the days that you didn't have to wear these uniforms and you could just wear your own clothes was so fun. I was very excited about it. Um, and then we've got, what else is it? My Choice. Uh, oh, this is this um, Jodie Jody Rebin, age 10 from Plasto. Lists her five favourite and least favourite props. Us. Okay, so this is who this girl loves, right? So she loves Kylie, Jason, Michael Jackson, Brother Beyond and Sunita. I'd go with all them, apart from Brother Beyond. I don't particularly like them, they're a bit boring. The only song I liked from them was Harder I Try. Um, least favourite, what? Bross? She didn't like Bross. She didn't like Paula Abdul. She didn't like Rick Astley. She didn't like Cliff Richard. Mm, fair days. Um, a couple of his Christmas songs are all right. That's where I draw the limit. And Holly Johnson. Holly Johnson was cool. Like, he's, you know, he sung Relax, Don't Do It. Um, but yeah, oh, I couldn't have picked mine. I, my, obviously, yeah, my, my favourites, Michael Jackson, Bross. I love Bross. I was obsessed with Matt from Bross. Even though they were twins, I always thought he was the better looking one. And I still do. Um, and then at the back, we have the fact files, the photo of the London boys. Da, da, da. Let me know if you remember them. Most people don't. I, I'm, whenever I talk to people, kind of my generation, my generation, I'm like, do you remember the London boys? They're like, not really. Um, <laughs> my friend Hannah does. She remembers them. She liked them. And she also remembers how obsessed of them I was. Um, but yeah, basically, uh, London boys were, I was going to say my favourite band, but they're more like a duo, I suppose. But I was obsessed with them. I used to listen to their tape, like, I don't know how many times a day, literally a minute I got up and then when I come back from school, when I was getting ready for bed, it was just constant. I think I must have had another, like, to, well, my mum and dad must have had to buy me another tape because I probably ruined that one. I was obsessed with them. But yeah, sadly they died in an accident um, when they were a bit older, which is really sad. Edom and Dennis, but yeah, they sung, what was it, um, London Nights and Requiem. And anyway, I was obsessed. I love you. I love you. I love you. Uh, 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 uh. That was their song. Anyway, but I think this is really cool looking through this. I really hope, hint, hint, um, if he can hear, that Nathan does this again for me. Because this would be great, like, for Christmas or something. Just to get another old school magazine and that. It's really cool looking back in the past and comparing it to now and all that jazz. And just kind of reliving my, my childhood memories and, and youth. 
But um, yeah, I wonder if there's like old copies of like Just 17 and stuff from when I was like a teenager, obviously a bit older. That'd be cool to look it up. Anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, click like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care and bye.